so I uh, I clean these off with a little little hand plane. I got a little chad that's hanging on here. Wants to give me a little bit of a problem. I mean, I think it's going to be delicate. I will use a hand plane or even a sanding block if I'm afraid I might have something you know blow out on me. I don't want to get the the router out and uh, you know blow off a huge chunk of it. Um, but. So there you go, that's uh, trimming that up. But, so now for recutting these, if you remember yesterday, we had our board where we laid out all of our radiuses and then charted those uh, diameters. Uh, I apologize for the weed eater, but my neighbors are having their lawn done right now. But hopefully you can hear me over that. So what I wanna do is I'm, I'm just gonna come back in here lay my radius tool in there and just actually set it right down in there and it'll register and just tighten it right back down i always double check just to make sure that we're not we're in the same hole that we used before but then it's just a matter of taking your time And that hide glue is still a little gummy in there. So you can see if I'd have done this yesterday, this would have been a real mess. Um, but as it is, I did one earlier. Uh, I am doing a pair of tables here. And so I've had lots of chances to figure out what I'm doing right and doing wrong. But no, I did one earlier, and so this is the second one of the day. Alright. There we go. Alright, there's the radius. Now, this is an inside leaf to the table, and uh, I'm not putting um, a radial grain all the way around this because this is going to be a mirror image on the other side and so what I've decided to do is the stringing the black stringing is going to come around and all I'm going to do is have a piece of black stringing right around this edge here and so I'm going to show you do that right now how I uh, cut that groove That's just a Dremel with an end mill in it. And so I think you can see that. But, uh, and what I've got is a fence set up so that uh, my end mill is gonna ride right in there and uh, cut my little groove. myself a little bit and that is that I need to remove this once I've done the radius to get out of the way so
There is number one. And we'll do another another couple here. You see it actually gets to where it goes along fairly quickly. Start lightly. No need to hammer it in there right away. Uh, I like to work down into the radius here because these will tend to blow out if I if I go the other way if I'm pulling up on those if those aren't glued down good they will want to blow out of there and leave a little gap. Try to get as much of that glue out of there as I can. So there you go. I'll finish this up and then uh, I'll come back. I think when uh, you'll see next thing is uh, cleaning up the, the grooves. But uh, and then I'll actually show you laying the stringing in there.